Hi guys, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Alba, Rebecca, good evening. How are you? Are you okay? Good, good. good. Ah, okay, that's excellent. So, Delmi Alexandra, Delmi Arely, Emmanuel, Eliseo, Jonathan, Brenda, Isabel, and Olga, welcome to the class. Thank you for your punctuality. Thank you so much. It's nice to see you tonight. Good night, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Jonathan, how are you? Welcome to the class. Excellent teacher. Thank you. Oh, that's great. So yesterday we were studying how to describe people, right? Describing people was yesterday's topic. Do you remember some adjective that we used to describe physical appearance? Yesterday we learned a lot of adjectives. We study a lot of adjectives that we use to describe um, people's personality and also people's physical appearance. So do you remember some adjective to describe physical appearance? ¿Se acuerdan de Tall, short. Uh, Tall, beautiful. Okay, that's great. Pretty. Tall, beautiful. Which other one? Short. Uh, Tall, beautiful, Fit. short. Fit. Can you please repeat? Beautiful. Youthful. Oh, okay, Fit. youthful. Fit. Fit. Okay, this is for physical appearance. And what about personality? Do you remember some adjective to describe people's personality? Angry. Okay, angry is one. Hi. Friendly. Okay, friendly, thank you. Any other? Loud. Hi. Serious. Loud. Clever. Clever, thank you. Which other one? Do you uh, Nice. So oh, they're nice, nice. Okay, and to describe people, we need to use the verb to be. Let's see an example. And we say, Mary is nice. So it's kind of easy, Mary is nice. Uh, let's see, Kevin is clever. Kevin is clever, so we use the verb to be to make sentences uh, for describing people. Mary is nice. Kevin is clever. And you say, my girlfriend, my girlfriend is beautiful. Okay, is it correct? My girlfriend is beautiful. And you say, my boyfriend is short my boyfriend is short so you say my brother my brother is friendly and in this way we describe people eh, si queremos describirnos a nosotros mismos then we use i am right so i am angry i am loud i am clever i am nice i am tall i am joyful i am fit this was yesterday's topic. So let me ask you a question. Do you have any question about the platform? Do you have any problems on the platform exercises? Alguien tiene algún problema con la plataforma? Any doubt, any problem, any question? No hay ningún problema no con problem. los ejercicios, con el meter y cómo les fue en el meter exam. Great. Okay, great. Emmanuel is great. Easy. It was easy. Okay, that's great. 
¿Se sacaron 10 a la primera? ¿Quién se sacó 10 a la primera? Al primer intento. ¿Todos? Ah, qué bueno. Entonces, congratulations then. Bah, eh, qué bueno, ¿verdad? Que les fue muy bien en el examen. Uh, todos ya lo terminaron, ¿verdad? ¿A quién le hace falta todavía alguna parte del midterm? O ya está completa la sección 3 y el examen de medio curso, ¿ya lo terminaron? Yes. Yes. Oh, ok, that's great. Si aún les hace falta, pues todavía tienen como tres horas, ¿verdad? Es hasta la medianoche que tiene que estar completa. Se van a desvelar ahora, sí. <laughs> Espero que no, ¿verdad? Espero que ya lo hayan terminado. So, today we're going to study the topics that we had been learning during these two weeks. We are going to have a review of the midterms. Vamos a hacer un repaso de los temas que le fueron evaluado, evaluados perdón, en el midterm. So, let's start with this. This is the topic for tonight. Meter exam review. We are going to have a review of the meter. You say that it was easy and that's great. So let's start with this. In this class, you will practice the topics evaluated on the meter exams. We are going to have a, a practice of the topic that we have been studying in the section number one, section number two, and the section number three. So here we go. Let's start with this phrase. So, hi, my name is Anna Chen. Then we have the answer. The other person say, hi, Anna, I'm Zachary John. And Anna says, Zachary, mm, is that anyone to spell that word? Who wants to spell this? C-A-K-A-R-J. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. Just the last one. Is it J or Y? Y. 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 Okay, that was great. Thank you. Good try. Let's see. Eh, no, it. C-A-C-H. I, I O A. 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 A R Y. Thank you so much. Then let's see. And then it's Z A C H A R Y. And the man answer, that's right. Eh, ¿Dónde escucharon esta conversación? ¿Se recuerdan? En el examen está. Ah, okay, that's great. So let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation and then we're going to practice in this small conversation tonight. So here we go. Hi, my name is Anna Chang. Hi, Anna. I'm Zachary Young. Zachary. Hmm, is that Z-A-C-K-A-R-Y? No, it's Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. That's right. Okay, who wants to try this small conversation? Any volunteer to practice? I need two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Thank you, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, and any other volunteer? Okay, tell me, Alexandra, thank you so much. So, Emmanuel, you are A, tell me you are B at this time. You can start practicing. A, teacher. Yes, Emmanuel, you are A. Hi, my <laughs> name is Anna Chen. Hi, Anna, I am Zachary John. Zachary, mm, is that C A C K A R Y? Demi, yeah. is your turn? No. La A. Ah, sí, porque el hijo vive. No, it's Zachary. Spell it. Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. 
Ay, teacher, se me olvidó si las tenía que pronunciar, perdón. Okay. No, okay. no problem. No, it's D A C H A C H A R Y. C A C H A R Y. That's right. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I need another two volunteers. Who wants to try? Okay, Olga and Delmi Areli. Thank you so much. So, Olga, you are A, Delmi Areli, you are B at this time. You can start. Um, a. Hi, hi, my name is Anchen. Hi, Anna. I'm Zachary John. Zachary, mm, is that C A C K A L U? No, it is C A C H A R Y. C A C H A R U U. The last part. The last right. That's, that's right. That's that's right. Okay, thank you so much. So just help me with this, guys. How do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this letter? Why? 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 Okay. Any tone of uh, your? Um, excuse me, excuse me, teacher. Uh, Don't worry. Don't la worry. Zeta, la, it's okay. La it's Z okay. con la C, ¿cómo es la pronunciación? Okay, the first one is like Z. Z. La And C. the other one is C. C. Z. Z. A. T. H. Ah, en la primera hay una vibración, ¿verdad? Si se toca acá, usted va a sentir sí, sí. Y en la otra es sí. Esa es la diferencia. Sí. Sí. En sí. 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 That's the difference. Eh, ok. Let's go with the next conversation. Hi. Let's... My name. Let's listen to this. Look at this question. What's your phone number? Uh, what's wrong in this question? ¿Cuál es el problema en esa pregunta? What's your phone number? Falta la H en phone. H. Yeah. How do you say H in English? H. 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 Okay. Let's add the H then. Now it's correct. So, what's your phone number? Kit, any volunteer to say this number? What's your phone number? So, so, so. I have two volunteers. So, Delmi Arely, can you please? Eh, todo lo digo, teacher. Yes, go ahead. What's your your phone number, Sue? Is seven one eight five 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 eight eight seven one. Okay, that's great. Let's continue with the conversation. So I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? What is the meaning of this phrase? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? What is the meaning of this? Cuando se dice, I'm sorry. What is the meaning? I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? Lo digo yo, teacher. Ah, ok. Ahorita lo vamos a practicar. La frase significa, lo siento. ¿Cuál es tu número de teléfono? Otra vez. Eh, esta frase la utilizamos cuando no entendemos bien, ¿verdad? Cuando usted dice, ah, dijo 718 y los demás números. Entonces usted dice, I'm sorry, what's your phone number again? 
Y pedimos porque nos repitan ¿verdad? el número. I'm sorry, what's your num phone number again? So you say seven. La otra persona le repite el número ahí. Teacher, eh, have a question. Yes, what is your question? Uh, ¿Se puede omitir el I'm y decir solo sorry? Is correct? Sorry. Yes, it's informal, but you can use it. Sorry. Se puede utilizar, ¿verdad? Es, un, es informal, siempre y cuando sea como hablando. Si es escrito, si tiene que escribir así. I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. It's informal. It's informal English. So let's listen this small conversation and then we're going to practice. Two. What's your phone number, Sue? It's 718-555-8871. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? 718-555-8871. Thanks. Okay, now what's going on in this conversation? Hay algo que hace falta. What's going on in this conversation? Hay un problema más. What is it? Hay una frase que está mal. ¿Cuál es? A ver quién la identifica después de haber escuchado. Listen again. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Two. What's your phone number, Sue? It's 718-555-8871. I'm sorry. What's your phone number again? 718-555-8871. Thanks. What is? What is? ¿Alguien descubrió dónde está mal escrito? It's, falta it's, it's. Ah, ok, that's great. It's, la frase que aprendimos, acá tiene que ir it's, ¿verdad? Es el pronombre it's, apóstrofe y el verbo to be. So it's, ok, very good. So we are going to practice in this small conversation, pero no vamos a utilizar el número que está acá en el... Eh, va a utilizar un número, el suyo, si usted quiere decir el suyo, si no, invéntese un número. No vamos a decir el que está en el ejemplo, vamos a decir uno que nosotros nos podamos, ¿verdad? Vaya, acá vamos a cambiar ese número y también el nombre, ¿verdad? Utilicen su propio nombre en este the castle. So, who wants to participate? Uh, I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Who wants? Who wants to practice? Use your own information. Utilice su información. Okay, thank you, Emanuel. Emanuel and Dina Esther. Thank you so much. So, Emanuel, you are A and Dina, you are B. What's your, norm, what's your phone number, Dina? It's um, 6306 uh, Sorry, what's your phone number again? Okay, 6306 Thanks. Ok, that was great. Thank you so much. ¿Alguien anotó el número de Dina? ¿Quién lo tiene? Que lo escribe en el chat. Nobody take notes. No, lo, no tomaron más apuntes. <laughs> no, ok. Um, I need another two volunteers. Pero esta vez sí toman apuntes. Who wants? Who wants to try? I have Olga M. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Delmi Arely. So, Olga, you are A, Delby, Areli, you are B. You can start. Take note. Um, eight. What's your phone number, Olga? Uh, it's um, seven zero six nine six nine two zero. Ah, okay. Wait. Um, Olga, a ustedes le toca la parte A y a Delmi Arely le toca la parte B. Sí. Ok. La parte let's... B no le he dicho. Ok, let's start again. 
Vamos, okay, let's start here. What's your phone number? Tell me. Tell me. No tiene abierto el, el, el micro. Tell me, Arely. Sí, teacher, es que estoy esperando que no Ah, ok. Olga, let's start again. Comencemos de nuevo. Let's start again, please. Vamos, Olga. Uh, I, what's your phone number, Olga? Uh, it's uh, seven zero six nine six nine two zero. Ah, ok, thank you so much, Olga. Bye. Uh, ahora comience usted, Del Miarelli, please. Va a comenzar Del B. De la B, teacher. Sí. Eh, let's start again the conversation. Del Mi puede comenzar a hacer la conversación. Ahora ustedes A y Olga va a ser B. Ok. What? Teacher. En el primero, de, de decir el, el número de, la, de, de, de Delmi y en el segundo que diga yo, voy a decir el, mi número o el de Delmi. Uh, vale, la conversación va de esta manera. What's your phone number, Su? ¿Cuál es tu número de teléfono, Su? Y entonces Su responde. It 7185558871. Luego, la persona que preguntó, ¿verdad? Eh, I'm sorry, what's your phone number again? Ah, I can see what's the matter here now. Ok. O bueno. sea, que lo que está en la, en la pantalla es... Oh, yes, but give me a second. Ah. Sí. I guess A. Or no, sorry. Yeah. It's, I'm sorry, what's your phone number again? This is B, right? And this is A again. Bueno, probablemente esa fue la confusión. Sí. Muy bien. Let's start again. What's your phone number, Olga? It's seven one eight five 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 eight eight seven one. I'm sorry, what's your phone number again? It's um, seven one eight five 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 eight eight seven one. Thanks. 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 Okay. Seven six eight six eight seven zero oh, six eight six eight two zero. Oh. Eliseo, is that your phone number or Olga's phone number? Uh, uh, Olga. Olga's el, phone number. El number mío. Ah, ok. Oh, Eliseo le escuchó la primera vez que lo dijo y lo mandó en el chat. That's great. Let's move, let's move on on the next conversation. Conversation number three. Now look at this. What's on your desk? What's on your desk? Brandon, what's on your desk? And it says, oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what is, what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. En esta conversación están utilizando preposiciones de lugar. What's the meaning of on? In this question, what's on your desk? What is the meaning of that question? Do you remember preposition of place? What's on your desk? Is the dentro de tu escritorio, encima de tu escritorio, debajo de tu escritorio? Ah, muy bien. Eh, Brandon answered, oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? It means... What's in your bag? Adentro. Okay. Bolsa. ¿Qué hay dentro de tu bolso? Is it a cell phone? 
es un teléfono. It's a, it's a yes no question, right? Is it a cell phone? Es un celular? So, no, it's not. It's a camera. So it's let's listen camera. this conversation. Pay attention. Three. Brandon, what's on your desk? Oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Oh, a camera. Nice. Any to get to practice? And I have one, Olga M. Any other volunteer? Who, hey. wants, who wants to try? Okay, tell me, tell me, Arely. Okay, Olga, you are going to read the part A. A. You are going to read the part of B. So, Olga, a. let's start. A. Brando, what's on your desk? Oh, it is my CD player. It's full and what's in your back is a cell phone? No, it is not. It, no, it's not. It's a camera. camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Thank you so much. That was great. I need two volunteers, another volunteer to practice in this conversation. I have Brenda Isabel and also Brenda Isabel and Jose Martinez. Thank you, Jose. So Brenda, you are A, Jose, you are B. You can start. Uh, Brenda, what, what's on your desk? Oh, it's my city player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? It's a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Okay, thank you so much. Then let's go with the next. Oh, I have Alba. I still have Alba, Rebecca. Any volunteer to practice with Alba? Oh, thank you so much. Tell me, Alexandra. Alba, can you please start? Yes, and part, uh, participation. Okay, you are A. Thank you so much. Alba, you are A. And Delmi Alexandra, you are B. Let's start. Okay. Brandon, what's on your desk? Oh, it is my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it is not. It is a camera. Oh, Oh, a camera nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So, Brandon, what's on your desk? Oh, it's my CD player. It's cool. And what's in your bag? Is it a cell phone? No, it's not. It's a camera. Oh, a camera. Nice. Let's go with the last conversation. Three. Okay, what is the meaning of wallet in this question? What is the meaning of wallet? Ah, okay, where is my wallet? Donde esta mi billetera? Is it in your pocket? What is pocket? What is the meaning of pocket? Está en tu bolsillo. Okay, it's a question. Yes, está en tu bolsillo. No, it is not. No, it's not. No está, ¿verdad? Se me perdió. Is it in your book bag? Mochila. And it's, yes. Y después, no, it's not. Wait a minute. Look under your desk. Yes, here it is. Under your desk. ¿Dónde estaba la billetera? Where is the wallet? Por debajo del escritorio. Debajo del escritorio. Ah, okay, under is another preposition of place, which means debajo de, right? So you are right, estaba debajo del escritorio. So pay attention to the pronunciation, please, and the intonation. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Sí, estoy en clase. Where's my wallet? 
Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. Is it in your book bag? Um, yes. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Look under your desk. Yes, here it is, under your desk. Thanks. Ok. Ya han perdido su billetera con todos sus documentos. ¿Y los 10 dólares del pasaje o no les ha pasado? Nobody? No. No, ok, that's great. You are that's lucky. Teacher. You are lucky. Y si les ha pasado, you are unlucky. So, let's start with <laughs> this. Who wants to practice in this conversation? I need just to volunteer to practice in this. This is the last one. I have Josué David and Emmanuel. Thank you so much. So, Josué, you are A in... Let's see. Josué, you are A. Emmanuel, you are B. Can you please oh, no. start? Oh, where, where is my wallet? Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. Is it in your book bag? Yes. Mm, no, it's not. Wait a minute. Look under your desk. Yes. Here it is. Under your desk. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Great job. That was perfect. Thank you. Let's go with the next. That was the listening part. Is it a listening? Um, that was the listening part on the midterm exam. So, Julia and Delmiarelli, do you want to practice? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you so much. So, Julia, you are A, and then you are B. Okay. Oh, no, where is my wallet? Is it in your pocket? No, it's not. Is in your book bag? Yes. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Look under your look under your desk. Yes, here it is under your desk. Thanks. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Thank you for your participation in this conversation. Um, then, Josué David, do you have a question? The K hit. Sí, pero ya. Ya le quité el castigo porque ya me vino. Ok, Jos do you have a question, Josué? Josué David? No, ¿Tiene no, alguna no. pregunta? Ah, no question. Ok, let's continue then. Thank you so much for your participation in the conversation. Now we are going to complete this conversation using possessive. My, your, his, our, or her. We use these possessive adjectives to say that something belongs to someone. Utilizamos estos adjetivos posesivos para decir que algo le pertenece a alguien. If it is, si es mío, yo digo my. Si algo es mío, then I use my. Then you say my book, for example. You say my smartphone. Mi celular, my smartphone. Si algo es de usted, then I say your, tuyo, ¿verdad? Your book, for example, your book. Si algo es de ella, utilizo his o her. Do you remember this? Her. Her. Okay, you say her name is Kate, for example. Her name is Kate. Y si algo es de él. Yeah. His, his, his. Entonces voy a utilizar his, ¿verdad? His, his wallet, por ejemplo, la billetera de él, his wallet, su billetera. Y si algo es de nosotros, utilizo our, our. ok, our English class, por ejemplo, nuestra clase de inglés, our English class. Y si algo es de ellos, voy a utilizar cuál, possessive adjective. Si algo le pertenece a ellos. I'm going to use. Okay. They. 
Okay. Their classroom. El salón de clase de ellos. Okay. So I say, my, your, her, his, our, and their. My smartphone, your book, her name is Kate, his wallet, our English class, their classroom. So using this possessive adjective, we are going to complete this small conversation. So what is in the first one? Uh, Matt dice, Tony, this is my friend. Tony, my. This, this is my friend. Her. My. Her. Her uh, name. My name is Jennifer Miller. Her my. name is Jennifer Miller. My. His name is Jennifer my. Miller. Her name. Her name. Her name. Okay. In this case, we're going to use her. Her, her name, name is Jennifer her Miller. Her name is Jennifer Miller. Jennifer is. Jennifer is. Jennifer is oh, in nuestra class. clase de inglés. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, remember that Jennifer oh. is in our English class. Nice oh. to meet you. What? What's your last name again? So sure. Jennifer say it's Miller. Jennifer, it's Miller. So Tony, this is my friend. Her name is Jennifer Miller. Jennifer is in our English class. Nice to meet you. What's your last name again? It's Miller. Uh, do you have any question? I have a question to you. Tell me, Emanuel, what is your question? Um, en los ejemplos que puso donde their classroom, uh -huh. their, la pronunciación es como el contractado de they y are. Their. Their, their. Yes, it sounds the same. Their, their. 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 Okay, teacher. Thank you so much for your question. Let's go with the next. Now we are going to practice. It's your turn to answer. We are going to complete the following sentences using possessive adjective. Just give me a second. Let's go with the next. Here. So can, can you help me please to complete this? She's yeah. happy with her job. You? Your. Okay, wait, give, give me a second. Your. 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 Number one. Your. She's happy with? Her. You. Her. 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 Okay, thank you. He's happy with her job. The boy <laughs> lost. Los chicos perdieron sus libros en la ciudad, in the town. There. There. It says el chico. Is. The boy. Is. Is. Okay, is. He is. Peter is showing. Is. Is. Okay, Peter está mostrando is. su casa a Susan. The, the next one, I have a pet. You're mine. My. My. His. His. Ah, ok. Tenemos también el pronombre uh, it, ¿verdad? Para animales y para cosas. En este caso es un animal. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo posesivo? It. Utilizamos it. 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 Que se pronuncia igual también que esta contracción. It. It. Se pronuncia igual, ¿verdad? Pero significa algo diferente. So, su nombre, ¿verdad? En este caso sería its name. Its name is Babu. I have a pet. Its name is Babu. There is a mouse in bedroom y tengo el pronombre we nosotros entonces el adjetivo posesivo para oh, esta oh, 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 so much our is that you house 
your okay is that your house that your we bought eso significa compramos nosotros compramos this or or okay our fruit yesterday compramos nuestra fruta ayer the cat is hungry this is it it's Ah, okay, thank you. It's yes, you're right. It's so much. The cat is hungry. This is its food. You are a boy, and your and your name is Mark. Thank you. You are a boy, and your name is Mark. I live in Paris with Call me family. My. My. Mini, okay. my. My, my, my. Don't put tennis on the bed. Your. My. Your. 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 ¿Cuántas veces le dijo eso su mamá? Don't put your tennis on the bed. Don't put your. No ponga sus zapatos sobre la mesa. <laughs> Pero en la bed, en la cama. <ríe> en la cama Pero, también, ¿verdad? En la cama o en el peor. sofa, en el sofa. Sí. sí. No te subas con zapatos al cielo. Pero, sí. En the last sí. one, my friend is I drinking, está tomando su agua. So, to say is her. Ok, so she's happy with her job. The boy lost his books in the town. Peter is showing his house to Susan. I have a pet. Its name is Babu. There is a mouse in our bedroom. Is that your house? We bought our fruit yesterday. The cat is hungry. This is its food. You are a boy and your name is Mark. I live in Paris with my family. Don't put your tennis on the bed. My friend Lisa is drinking her water. Very good job. So, do you have any question about how to use possessive adjective? Questions? No, no question. No question. Okay, that's great. Let's continue then. Yes. Here we go to the next topic. Those were, those were possessive yeah. adjective. En el meter también yeah. van a encontrar el siguiente ejercicio. That's things you do. Ok, bye bye. No bad things. Hello, how are you, Mr. Smith? Estas son respuestas. ¿Cuál creen que fue la pregunta en la primera respuesta? Eh, eh, dice que ella estaba contenta con su trabajo. Entonces, ¿cuál se le pone? Ah, bye. ese era el ejercicio anterior. This is a new one. This is a new exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, here we are going to learn how to answer. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos a responder? Bueno, cuando las personas goodbye. digan, por ejemplo, goodbye, yeah. have a nice day. Entonces nosotros yeah. respondemos. Thanks, you too. Thanks, you too. Thank goodbye, you too. have a nice day. Then you say, thanks, you too. Okay, bye-bye. So, Jose, you can use that too. Let's see. Ah, okay, bye-bye is the second one. So, that is the answer for the question. See you later. See you later. See you later. Te veo más tarde. You answer, okay, bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. And this one, hi, how hi. are you? The answer is? No bad things. Y la última? Y no bad, ¿qué quiere decir? Es como, estoy bien, bro. no estoy mal. No bad things. So, ¿Cómo, so... Es, ¿Cómo estás? No estoy mal. Thanks. Good evening, bed. Good evening, bed. And hello, how are you, Mr. Admit? Can you practice this, please? I need to volunteer to practice these phrases. 
who wants to try? I need two volunteers to practice in this exercise. Okay, I have three people, Emmanuel and Delma Alexandra. You are the first. Call us ellas, por favor. Emmanuel, you are eight. Delmi, Alexandra, you are B. Okay, goodbye. Have a nice day. Thanks. You too. See you later. Okay, bye bye. Hi, how are you? Not bad, thanks. Good evening, Beth. Hello, how are you, Mr. Smith? Okay, thank you so much. En la primera frase, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Let's see, I have another two volunteers, Maricela and Olga Vela. Can you please, Maricela? Maricela, you are A. Olga, you are B. Okay. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. See you later. Okay, bye-bye. Hi, how are you? No bad. Thank Good evening, Bill. Hello, how? Hello, how are you, Mr. Smith? Okay, in this case, como es una señora, es la pregunta que me están haciendo en el chat. Eh, bueno, thank you, Christopher Raúl. Thank you for your answer. Teacher, yes. una consulta. ¿A ¿Cómo se pronuncia evening? Evening. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Beth. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. And Good evening. Word, thanks. Eso es como noche o como tarde. Ah, muy buena pregunta. Bueno, vamos primero con la pregunta que hicieron en el chat. Es de. Let me see. De Gilma. Va, Gilma, si es un señor, we are going to use this. That means mister. Y si es una señora, we are going to use this, which is miss. Mister and miss. Si es un señor, decimos mister. Si es una señora, decimos miss. Mr. Smith o Miss Smith. De acuerdo. Thank you for your question. Now let's go with Olga's question. We have two greetings at night. And the first one is good evening. And the other one is good night. Vamos sí. a utilizar good evening a partir de las seis de la tarde. Generalmente. ¿verdad? Good evening hasta las ocho de la noche. Okay. Oh, it's until nine. Sorry, it's until nine p.m. Después utilizamos good night. También good night es como un saludo de despedida cuando alguien ya se va a dormir. Then you say uh -huh. good night. ¿De acuerdo? Oh, sí, ok. Gracias, thank you. ¿Y cuáles son los otros saludos durante el día? ¿En la mañana? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening good night. Good evening and good, evening. good night. So we have good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and also good night. Tell me, Arely, do you have a question? Yes, teacher, teacher. a question. Tell me, what's your question? Y si teacher, es de madrugada, teacher, ¿cómo sería? Good, good morning. morning. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Teacher, yo solo me, me quedo con una duda. ¿Verdad que para mi, Mister y Miss también se puede decir, pero no, no sé, creo que los británicos lo utilizan más, el Madam en Sir? Ah, uh, yes, we can use sir. this one. Sería yes, sir. sir. Y el otro es Mam. Madam. Mam, I have heard that. Mam. Para decir señora, ma'am. Pero sería siempre 
Ah, exacto, exacto. Sí, es que me dices, recordaba un poquito a su historia. Sir, man, o mister, o miss. Ok. Y Pero con el nombre. My pleasure. No, okay, okay. Y para señorita. Miss. ¿Cómo se escribe? Ah, ya. Yeah. Miss. Ya. Yeah. Thank you. Ok. Eh, Christopher Raúl, ¿me iba a decir algo más? No. No, okay. no, 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 It's okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Very interesting question. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Let's continue with the class. I have another exercise for you here. Just give me a second. I'm going to raise this note and let's go. Let's continue. Bueno, esta parte también estaba en el midterm. Do you remember this part? Yes. Okay, now we are going to remember this and also this. This, this, this. ¿Se acuerdan cuándo vamos a utilizar okay. this y cuándo yeah. vamos a utilizar yeah. this? Yeah. When yeah. we are going to use this yeah. and yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. this yeah. Plural. Plural. Ah, okay, yeah. thank yeah. you so much. This plural. is for singular, yes, and this yeah. is for yeah. plural. 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 Cuando el objeto está lejos o está cerca, near or far. Uh, this is cuando está lejos. No. That this is cuando está cerca y that is cuando está lejos. Yeah. Yeah, muy bien. En esta sección, ¿verdad? Solo vimos this and this. Mm -hmm. Y ambos mm -hmm. se utilizan cuando el objeto está cerca. Lo, te, lo estamos tocando o lo tenemos en la mano. Eh, para el, cuando el objeto está lejos, si es singular, utilizamos that. Y si es en plural, utilizamos those. Serían las siguientes palabras. Es that para singular y those para plural. That and those. Si el objeto está lejos. En este caso, eh, solo vamos a utilizar this or this. En number one. Is it this or this? This. 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 Is it correct? No. 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 This. Why not? This. 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 Ah, okay, because that this. is for singular. This. Then I need to use this. These are our this. laptops. These are. Estas son nuestras laptops. Laptops. And what about the second one? ¿Qué hay de la segunda oración? ¿De quién es este libro? This. 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 And the next. This. 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 Ok. Singular this. o plural. Ahí es singular, this. Plural. Second singular. The second singular. Okay. And the third one. Is. This. 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 Okay, let's write. This is in the first one. And then I have number two. This, this book is this. No, number two is this. this. Number three is this. plural, so I need this. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Yes.
Es singular, oh, sí. Wow, sí, singular. Este hombre. Este, este es un hombre. Este hombre. Ah, ah ok. Sí. That's great. Sí. This. So, so, this. 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 Este this hombre man has singular. three children. I like. This. Yo quiero zapatos. Plural. Plural. This. I like these shoes. I like these shoes. Hi. This is singular. Singular, ok. Singular. Hi, this is Jerry speaking. Esta expresión la utilizamos cuando estamos hablando por teléfono. Cuando alguien le llama, se dice, hi, this is Gary speaking, this is uh, Alba, Rebecca speaking, this is Delmi speaking, this is Emmanuel speaking. This, land, the last one, one is, is this super es, es are plural. my friends. Es plural. plural. Okay, thank you. These two people are my friends. Hi. These two people are my friends. So I have these are our laptop. Whose book is this? Can you help me with these boxes? Whose backpack are these? This is my new car. This man has three children. I like these shoes. Hi, this is Jerry speaking. These two people are my friends. Thank you so much. Excellent job in this part. Any question? Are my no question. question. No question. Okay, thank you so much. Let's go with the next exercise then. También había un ejercicio acerca de eso. Right? This and this. Sí. Now, preposition yeah. of place. We're going to remember the preposition of place. Which one do you remember? Preposition of place. ¿De cuál se recuerda? Preposiciones de lugar. In front. In front. In front. In front. Next on the, behind, on the, behind, in front on, of, in, on, next to, next to, yes. So now let's to, answer in front on, of, on is another one. In, okay, give me a second. Okay, so look at the look at this picture. And can you please help me to answer the following question? Question number one: Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Ah, okay. Oh, ah, the antes de, antes de responder, ¿cuáles son los artículos? ¿Cuál es el nombre de cada uno de los artículos que están en la imagen? We have keys. Yeah. Keys. CD player. CD bag, player, bag, 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 paper, um, CD play, newspaper, new newspaper, 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 y todos estos objetos están encima de en la text table desk. table desk okay. I guess table. it's a desk but we can also say table no problem desk or table in desk. audífonos how do you say audífonos in English I I um, wireless wireless earphone okay no sería como el, el tipo de audífonos o... que está en la ah, imagen se dice headphone. headphone. Headphone, porque va sobre la cabeza, tienen una pequeña diadema, como una diadema. So, headphone. Okay. Headphone. Headphone. Okay. Y los que generalmente usamos ahora se llaman earphone. earphone. Que solo van en el oído. Earphone. Headphone. Earphone. Headphone. Y los se nuevos wireless. Headphone. Wireless. Okay. Okay, let me write the words. Bye. Primero, portafolio es briefcase. Así. Ah, Then we have the newspaper. 
newspaper. Then we have headphones. It's like headphones. And we have earphones. Headphones, earphones. Thank you, Dick. Y los últimos que han salido, ¿cómo se llaman? Airpods. Wireless. 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 Earphones. Earphones. Wireless. Wireless. Earphones. Tienen otro nombre, pero creo que sí es una marca, pero no recuerdo. Ah, los Airpods. Airpods. Ok. So now, where are the kids? Where are the kids? Using preposition of place. Where are the kids? The kids. The kids are on, on the briefcase. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're right. The kids are on the briefcase. Uh, what is the newspaper? The newspaper. Are on their briefcase. Yeah. On their on their briefcase. On? On their briefcase. On their on their on their on their yes. The newspaper is under the briefcase. In the briefcase, where is the briefcase? It's great. Como hablando de Quizás uno lo vea y le ponen ahí la nota porque él no dice nada. Queda Voy a hacer el link que lo busquen. Ok. Eh, where is the briefcase? <risa> Ahora entiendo por qué salen bien mis alumnos. Lo buscan en Google. So, where is the briefcase? It's between, but between the newspaper and the keys. Where is the CD player? Where is the CD player? Uh, uh, next to next the to, CD player, next to next the briefcase. Next to the briefcase. Okay, we can use next to the CD player is next to the briefcase. También puede utilizar between. And, and behind the books. Oh, and also behind the books. So we can use behind the book. The CD player is behind the books. The CD player is between the, the headphones the and the briefcase. So where are the books? The, the books are in front. In front of the CD player. The CD player. In Thank front you. of. Y también the podemos book. decir the books are. The, the books, books are. The. No. Are on the desk. On the desk. On the desk. Thank you. On the desk. So remember, if it is plural, we use where are. And if it is singular, we use where is. Where are the keys is plural. Right? Where is the newspaper is singular. And also, are the books on the desk? What is a good answer for this question? Are the books on the desk? Yes, they are. Yes, they okay. are. En este caso es una yes no question. ¿verdad? ¿Están los libros sobre el escritorio? de you say? Yes, they. Yes, they are. Yes, yes they are. Yes, yes, they are. Yes. yes, they are. Is the CD player on the briefcase? Yes. No. 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 Como es singular, entonces voy a decir no. Y it. No, it is. No, it is. No, it is. No, it is. Y la otra forma sería no, it's not. No. No, it's not. Then, can you please answer the following question? Is the newspaper in front of the books? It's the newspaper in front of the book. Mm. No. no sería next to the book. It's a yes, no yeah. question. Is the newspaper in front of the book? So you say okay. yes, no. it is. Yes. Or no, yes. it is. Yes. No. Yes. yes, it is. No, it is. No, 
no. Ok, sería no. no, it's no. No, it's no. Is, is the CD player between the headphone and the briefcase? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Are the books on the desk? Yes. 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 It's, yes. Yes. They are. No, 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 no. Yes, they yes. are. They are. Yes, they are. Ok, okay. No, 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 no. recuerde, si es plural, utilizamos a la respuesta they, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted tiene dos opciones. Contestemos el ejemplo. Are the books on the desk? Then you say yes. yes. They are, because it's plural. Es plural. La respuesta negativa sería no. They, they are. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Y la número cuatro, is the CD player on the briefcase? Then, because no. it is... No. no, no, it is, no, it isn't. Ok, entonces en este caso diríamos no, no. It's, no. it's no. not. It's... No, it's not. No, it's not. Si fuera cierto, sería yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. Bueno. Yes. Eh, it's the newspaper in the briefcase. No, it's not. Okay, no, it's no, not. It's not. No, it's not. Thank you. Is the CD player on the newspaper? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Are the headphones next to the CD player? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. Mm, headphone, it's plural. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh, yes, yes they are. They are. Thank you so much. Yes, they are. Yeah. Do you have any question about this? Questions? No question. Ok, if you don't have any other questions. Eh, todos esos temas estaban en el midterm. Ok, so you say the midterm was easy. El midterm fue fácil. Esperemos que así sea el final exam too. Esperemos que así esté, ¿verdad? Eh, espero que hayan terminado la sección número 3 y el midterm también. <laughs> Um, yes, teachers, complete. Okay. Yes, teacher. That's great. Congratulations, then. So you can start the section number four. Puede comenzar ya la sección número cuatro. No problem with that. So si puede avanzar en la sección número cuatro, that is going to be great. Por acá han enviado un mensaje al WhatsApp. Miren. Tres de mi turn. Va bien, va muy bien. Okay. Okay. Recuerden que pueden ir revisando su progreso en la pestaña donde dice progress o progreso. ¿no? So, if you don't have any other question, enjoy your weekend. Disfrute su fin de semana. See you until Monday. Los veo hasta el lunes. So, bye bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good evening. <laughs> oh, en este caso sería good night, porque nos estamos good night. discutiendo. Okay. Good night. Bye good bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you so much. Until, hasta el lunes, Monday. See you on Monday. Okay. Bye. Bye bye, Olga. Mm -hmm.